something I want to do right now is uh, last night my daughter, I you know spent some I spent well I always spend time with her but she came over and uh, we had dinner and uh, she gave me a gift which I don't really need but I you know it's the thought and she she cares enough but here's what she did she gave me a card okay she gave me a card here's the card a birthday card and it says if you can't read it dad you're one of a kind all right now those of you that know me this whole show was created because of the birth of my daughter which or, you know, which led to eventual divorce, which, you know, led like we have to separate and split our child down in half. And I just hated the whole process. I really did because the, the children suffer. And I wasn't about to let my daughter, or at least to the best of my ability, not let her suffer. As I've seen many children just not go down the right path because of, you know, screwed upness. Parents are pissed off and they start using children as weapons and you'll never see your kid again. And, and just, just stupid stuff that in, in the end, who suffers? The child. And they have nothing to do with any of this. So, so, I mean, again, I talk about it a lot. And I'll, oh, I, get, I think I'll forever be talking about it. I don't care if she's, you know, 50 years old, but she is now 17. But it was tough in the beginning because it was hard. I've never been through a divorce. I, you know, I speak about of this stuff. Go listen to the older shows. I let it all out there and let you know what's going on. And I'll be talking and we're going to be doing some dad talks here, I hope in the future, but she's so important to me. And on top of that, she just has a soul that has been a lot easier to deal with than some children. I mean, you know, I was a pain in the ass. I owe my mother everything. I mean, my father was my father. They came from a generation like, you know, your mother handled most of the stuff. Like, I don't think my father ever changed a diaper. I, I'm pretty sure he probably never did, ever. Well, I did. I mean, my daughter was only a couple of days old. <laughs> and my wife at the time left and I had the baby. And uh, I mean, they left to go somewhere. And I, had to, and I mean, that was my first experience. But then it got easier and better. And it's like, and so I do it again, you know, all over again, even though it's like, it's not the funnest stuff, but it's just, you know, that's your child. And, uh, but at the end of the day, like I said, your children, it's like, how can you not love your child? And, but there's all these different levels and how you raise them and everybody's different. And I totally get that. But at the end of the day, I am crazy over the top. I adore my child, my daughter. I do. And you all know it and I'll say it. And it's like, I'm proud of it. I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? There's, there's kids in this world that wish they had, that by no choice of theirs, parents die by accident or, or you know, cancers, illnesses, accidents or whatever. They don't have somebody. They long for somebody. And there's some parents or kids that have parents and they're pieces of shit. They just truly are. And they're better off without them. But I got a daughter and I'm a parent. And I mean, she loves her mother, too. And I don't have to go into that. But we're going to talk about my side. And I adore her. And she's been a great kid. And I'm very, very blessed with her. And... uh and that's why I do what I do. So this show started coming from all the mess that I went into and, and me talking about it. And then, you know, we kind of just open, broaden the horizons and just talk a lot of things about life because everything's interconnected. We are all connected. That's why we have to do better. This world is going to hell. And I don't even want to go into that. But let's get back to the card. So she gives me this birthday card and it says, Dad, you are one of a kind. Fair enough. So I open the card. And the card reads, which is pre-printed. Let me do this, sorry. So if I'm a little unusual myself, remember, I got it from you. <laughs> so, and I looked at her and I said, I'll take it because she's not weird. She's witty. She's got a little bit warped sense of humor and she's very well-rounded for her age. She knows a lot of stuff. She digs deep. And she's got a lot of common sensibility about her. I'm just going to flat out tell you, I'm super proud of her. She's not a weirdo. She's not an introvert. And, you know, she's kind of like middle of the road, just common sense. She's just got a decent head on her shoulders. I thank God every day for that because they can go any way. Kids are tough. And, and, and you know, you're still going to love your kids. It is what it is. But, you know, it, it's hard. Not everybody gets this lucky. I mean, my daughter was eating uh, uh, asparagus when she was, you know, two years old. She's, I mean, I'm just saying that it, I'm not special, but I was blessed with just a little bit easier of a child. And a lot of people say, well, you know, you're a good dad and you put a lot into this. And I say, yes, I do. But it takes two. 
I could put all you want into it. If you got a pain in the ass kid, you know, you got your hands full. Or if they have issues and things that, you know, it's hard, but you will still love your child. No matter what, at least you should. And hope that it all just levels out as they get older. But either way. So anyway, so the card says, Dad, you're one of a kind. Okay, you're one of a kind. And it says, so if I'm a little unusual myself, remember, I got it from you and I'll, I'll gladly accept responsibility. I'm kind of proud of the fact because, you know, we just see life as, as it is. There's no sugarcoating it. And we have a lot of laughs together. We really do. I, she's always been easy to hang with. But here's the part that really is the million dollar gift. Okay. The a trillion gazillion dollar gift. You probably can't see it, but she hand wrote something right here. Okay. I'm going to read it. It's like, dear dad, happy birthday. Words can't describe how grateful I am to have a dad like you. You are my biggest supporter and best critic. Thank you for everything. I love you so, so much. Have a good year. Love. Here's where her wit comes in. Anna, your fave and only daughter. And that's where my heart just starts exploding with this warmth like she understands because i go out of my way it's like my demeanor changes when she's with me i i, I calm down my, well not always <laughs> not always not always but a lot it's like the tone of my voice changes when she's around me and this was like since she was a baby because she just brings so much joy and happiness to me and I put in, I'll drop everything and I don't spoil her. I do not spoil her. She works and she, you know, and there's things that we do and there's a lot of things we don't do. And she's like, okay. She never throws a fit when we can't do, you know, even as a child. I mean, never, ever, ever complained and stomped her feet and all that kind of stuff. And I'm so blessed with that because I know that that's kind of like the norm when you're a kid. It's just kind of normal. You know, you're used to them having spazzes and fits and screaming and tantrums and, you know, for this or for that. But I haven't had that. And I thank God every single day, several times a day, actually several times a day for giving me that peace of being able to raise her on a pretty normal level. Because everything else in my life is just, in my opinion, you know, that's the crazy part. Everything else. She is my anchor which is, you know, it should be the other way around, but she grounds me and I'm very, very thankful. And then when she writes stuff like this, she wrote me a Father's Day card when she was probably eight. And I don't remember it verbatim, but I got the card and I'll never, you know, you can bury me with the, these cards. But the bottom line is, I don't remember exactly everything it said was, but she said, and I remember this because it just got me right in the gut. And she said, you're always there for me. And, and, and it's like, I'm just doing what I do. You're just doing because that's love. You should be doing it. It's your child, you get what you put into it. Those first eight, 10 years, they're sponges. You let them, you know, like a puppy. I always refer everything to a pet because I don't want to. But I mean, if you get a dog and you just let that dog do whatever it wants, it's going to be a hell of a damn mess that you're raising. Same thing with, with children. Now, I don't have to have her house broken and everything, but I mean, in one sense, teaching them everything from cleanliness to, to you know, to habits, to eating habits, to, to being a decent human being, it all comes from you or a village of people. I mean, it takes, I, I'm very blessed. I got a lot of people in my life that have uh, contributed to her and still do. Look at you guys. Hey, Matt, uh, Michael, Pastor Ray, just here doing a little show. <laughs> Just here doing a little show. Since I since I happen to be in the neighborhood, I figured, you know, hey, let's just do a little something. But uh, at the end of the day, this is your responsibility. You bring these children into the world, and you don't, you can't just birth them and go, okay, go for it. They don't know a damn thing. And I feel bad for the ones that have the parents that just don't get the, the insight and treatment that they need. And that's a tough one. And then you got some, you know, my daughter's got a girlfriend that uh, 
my daughter's got a friend that she doesn't have a father and uh, there was a simple little task that they that the, the the her friend was doing and she says she didn't know how to do it and it was something that you know not too long ago was showing my daughter and she goes i feel really bad for her because she doesn't have a dad to like show her and, and i'm going well if she's got problems bring her around i mean you know we'll figure it out it's like because there's nothing you could change about that the, her father passed away from you know, an illness and but they wish they long for that relationship and they don't have it so i'm very very blessed but anyway this birthday card is i guess the point i'm making and what she wrote in this card is worth more to me than anything in the universe because that you know I, that that you, you just feel like maybe i'm making maybe it's it's uh, you know I'm, uh, all that and believe me sometimes you're not just dealing with her but just dealing with the whole situation of being single dad and dealing with my ex and all that kind of stuff and still trying to keep it together and she she still peaceful she's still stable and she's not flying off the handle and just getting crazy and doing stupid stuff so i am thankful and i'm very thankful and this was the greatest birthday piece of my gift for my soul was this card and her her personal thoughts on on you know what has been going on with us and how we're doing so i just thought i'd share it with you